So since I'm in the process of interlocking my hair right now, I thought I would do a video and uh, just have a quick chat with you guys about my pros and cons of interlocking my micro lock. So for context, my hair hasn't been refreshed for over a month and a half now, I think, maybe a month. And um, yeah, it's looking pretty rough. And so I'm hoping that I finish doing this soon. The interlocking method, I came across it really when I saw people who had sister locks. I know micro locks are getting more popular now, but sister locks have been here for a minute. Um, and uh, I think the people who are in that community tend to differentiate themselves or talk about their retightening methods being interlocking. Um, and if you are a sister lock person, you can uh, give us more information. But that's my understanding. And since then, I've seen that people with regular locks and micro locks and everything in between basically now use the method of interlocking as part of their maintenance routine um, versus twisting. Now, I have done both methods, um, just the regular sort of uh, twist method. So part of the reason why I'm returning to interlocking is because I noticed that once I did the twist method, it didn't take even a week before my hair just kind of unraveled in itself. And so I realized that in my case, interlocking is probably the better option for me. The reason why I had gone the twisting route or wanted to kind of try it out was because of the time and also because of the, um, the uh, I was hoping that it does something different from my hair, meaning it doesn't put too much stress on my on my hair since I was losing micro locks. In terms of the pros um, of interlocking, I would say the biggest pro is when it comes to maintenance is that even though it takes a long time, meaning as I sit down here, I could probably do it for about a whole day, like eight hours. But over time, it's actually less time because of the fact that I'm just sitting down for these eight hours today and then I can easily spend two, two and a half months without touching my hair. And my hair gets wet all the time. Like I got locks because I want to have my hair wet because of, I don't know, working out, uh, washing my hair, just things like that. Um, and in the summer, I like the idea that I can go swimming without feeling like, okay, then I have to do my hair. So yeah, so my hair gets wet a lot. And, um, but the interlocking method actually stays intact. Um, another pro really is that it does have a neat look to it. So I used to always braid my hair when I was a loose natural. And so when I have interlock, when I interlock my hair, it reminds me of the braided years which I do miss dearly. Uh, what I mean by that is, let me show you. I don't know, like this side. You can see my scalp, so it kind of looks like I'm braided. So it just has this more crispy look compared to twist, the twisting method, because I think the retwist or palm rolling as they call it, I find that it's like, I don't know, like it, it looks good for the day that you do it, but then over time, like a week passes, a few days pass, and then it kind of just doesn't look as fresh. Whereas for interlocking, you can actually just go for a very long time and it still looks fresh. Fresher than what braids could even look like, in my opinion. But um, that's another real benefit of how it looks and the, the neatness of it all. Yeah, and tied to that, I'd say that with interlocking, you get less frizz and sort of flyaways. You you know, the, the hair is just neatly tucked into the actual lock itself versus like the twist method. When you twist it, it's like, it's good for the day. And unless you use some serious product, it, it just kind of has more frizz to it. So you you have to brush your hair and just make it look less frizzy if that bothers you but um, with interlocking you don't get that same look and then as far as scalp is concerned I think that uh, your scalp is a lot healthier in my opinion when your hair is interlocked because you can kind of feel air on your scalp like it feels like your, your hair is breathing if that makes sense and I certainly love that feeling and um, you can definitely see your scalp uh, when you're interlocked because it's right there so you're more prone to taking care of it so in my case I sometimes get this 
flakiness on my skin and I just know to do something about it when I'm interlocked because you can totally see it it's really visible versus when I'm not interlocked it feels like oh I'm sure there's something under there but uh, I can't see it so yeah so yeah so I think your your scalp will probably thank you for the air circulation that it probably gets um, when it's interlocked now for the cons <laughs> time the first thing is time I think in the short term even though the pro is you don't do it all the time I think a con is the day that you need to interlock it takes forever it feels like holy the whole day so that's part of the reason for example I haven't refreshed my hair since the holidays because I just have not had the time I've just felt like you know it's not like a two-hour thing it's like a eight hour thing so that's a whole day uh, so finding the time to actually re-tighten re your hair is kind of a chore however I've heard that people who use professional uh, locticians to do their hair usually get in and out in a, just a couple of hours maybe two hours or three hours or whatever it is depending on your hair um, but I've never tried using a professional because where I live we do not have people who do black hair so it's um, I'm kind of far from experiencing it although I think I might this year that is my goal to actually visit a real loctician um, and get someone to retighten my hair but yeah the con there is definitely the the, sh the time in the short term that it takes um, that you have to dedicate to doing it the other con uh, I guess category of con is your skin um, alopecia or traction and breakage kind of thing so in terms of like the method itself it's not the problem necessarily I think it's because we as the people we end up over interlocking right so I can keep interlocking interlocking so maybe this is just the growth and then I find myself just keeping going in and in and in until it's tight so that tightness is not a good thing just like for braiding when you get braided all the time your hair actually breaks so you get alopecia traction alopecia because you're putting tension on your on your scalp right and um, your hair follicles are being compromised and therefore uh, you're probably gonna get bald spots <laughs> over time or something like that and so the method I guess you run the risk of um, putting too much tension on your scalp and uh, inadvertently causing alopecia uh, to yourself so that's one major con but that can be managed for sure by just being moderate in your approach to tightening so this one that I just did I ended it now over there and that's it I mean you find yourself wanting to keep going in and in and in but really you should leave you shouldn't feel hurt or sore after you've retightened your hair because the minute you're feeling sore it means you've over tightened your hair if that makes sense yeah so tied to that is obviously the more you tamper your with your hair with the interlocking method you're kind of going in out sideways inwards whatever different ways directions you are tampering your hair so of course you're putting stress on your follicles so just being careful about that is important because yeah that can also just damage your follicles so the other con is that sometimes you might actually increase the thinning of your locks because some parts are going to be much tighter than others so the consistency of your lock um, might be compromised if you don't use the same hand each time and also like what I mean is that some parts of your locks might be super super skinny and then they end up uh, thinning and breaking because they were either too tight or sometimes what also happens is that you end up interlocking and you're tired or whatever and then you marry locks together so two locks end up becoming one because you accidentally lock in a neighbor right into the one that you're working on so when that happens you have to kind of sacrifice <laughs> one of them or join them um, so that it becomes a thicker lock which is really annoying if you're not trying to go for inconsistency <laughs> um, that's happened to me a number of times where yeah so what I try to do is I try to work on my hair my front hair first and then I work backwards because at least at the back if something happens when I'm tired I'm like well it's not the front part of my head so 
uh, definitely you run the risk of losing locks. So in terms of things to consider generally is when you are interlocking, just be moderate and light-handed in your approach because there's no need to make them too tight. It just, yeah, it's not worth it. Over tightening just leads to so many bad problems that you don't want. And then also I think the other thing is combining methods sometimes is a good idea because there's sometimes when you have hair that is thinner and you don't want to interlock it because it's already fragile or it's a lock that you don't want to marry. So you just let it be and then you just twist it, maybe just that one, and then you kind of interlock with the other one is my thing. Just combining method isn't a horrible thing. But yeah, ask your locticians, find a loctician if you have access to one and ask them professionally how you should be managing your hair because some hair types probably fare better with certain methods than others, right? And so um, if you have access to a loctician, that's probably your best bet. So I'm going to end this video now because <laughs> I'm going to be here for a while. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in terms of the method itself, do you guys use interlocking or do you use another method? Um, and what are some of the tips that you have for users of interlocking? Because uh, I'm still learning myself and so uh, any tips and tricks would be welcome. I will probably see you guys in the next video. Bye.